All right, so it is actually Friday morning. I did not go to work today because <laughs> I wanted to go yard sailing. Um, I am a firm believer that we only live once. And if you feel the need that you need to just take a day off and enjoy it, then just do it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. It's a little bit dreary outside today. I'm hoping that the rain holds off. Uh, the yard sales... The one I'm looking forward to the most is tomorrow. Um, for today, I think there's only one community, and then the rest are just what I like to call randoms, um, just randomly here and there. But there were a few that interested me. The first one I'm going to go to, the advertisement said they have makeup palettes, which excites me. I'm curious to see what exactly that means and what they'll have. And then there was a sale advertised. The very first sentence said, I like big sales and I cannot lie. So I have to go to that one just because the advertisement really suckered me in. So um, just crossing my fingers, no rain today. We're going to see what we find on this Friday when I should be working. So let's go shopping. This is why I came to the sale. I heard you had makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lots and lots. Awesome.
You keep saying Michelle, that's my name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That was a popular name. <laughs> yes. Alright, so I am finished yarn sailing and oh my gosh, like being not at work today and yarn sailing and finding all this stuff, like it makes me wonder what I'm missing out on every Friday. <laughs> it sucks having to work. It's like I just want to yarn sail every week, you know, it's just so much fun. So I did find a lot of good things today. Um, and those were just from random yard sales. I did stop at one community yard sale, um, and I didn't buy anything at the community yard sale. There was just nothing at all that interested me there. So let's just get started with what I found. So at the very first sale 
um, the lady was selling a ton, an absolute ton of high-end makeup, makeup brushes, all of that good stuff. I didn't go crazy. I wanted to, trust me. Uh, the prices were a little high, but I mean, still really good uh, prices, I thought. So the palette that I got, I only got one palette because I'm trying to be good, but I, I'm obsessed with makeup palettes. They're like my... Ugh, I just can't not buy them kind of thing. So I purchased this Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette. Looks like this. Um, their sticker said it retails for $45. I paid $20. It is brand new though. So um, I'm really excited about this. I don't have anything by this brand. And these are all shades that I just absolutely love. So... I thought this was a $20 well spent. So let me pull it on out of here. Here is what the packaging looks like. It looks just like the box. And then when you open it up, it does have this big old mirror here. And then here are the shades. Just really, really pretty. Lots of beautiful neutral colors to this. So I am excited for that. And I love the fact that they all have names to the shades as well. So $20 for that. There was so much stuff I would have loved to have had. But, you know, I just, I can't buy everything. And later on today, um, we're going to a sale. And I needed to save money for that as well. And if you guys have followed me over on my other channel, my expert channel, um, you might have seen me do hauls before of um, natural and organic beauty products and stuff like that. Uh, well, I'm going to one of those sales later on today. I'm going to try to record uh, while I'm there a little bit. It's going to be a lot smaller than um, the typical sales. It's going to be for Relay for Life. So, uh, but... Yeah, I'm going to try to record there. So if you're interested in that, I'll probably have a video and a haul. Also, at that same yard sale, I got some of these. These are brand new, still sealed. They're by a company called Evolve Beauty. And it says they are Fiber Mascara and Eyelash Enhancing Serum Set. Um, for whatever reason, she had 150 of these, all brand new in the packaging. I'm not quite sure why um, she had them all, but she was only selling them for a dollar a piece. So I thought that was a good deal. I haven't looked them up yet, so I don't really know like how much they retail for or anything like that. But for a dollar, like I just couldn't couldn't pass that up. So I did end up getting three of them. I'll I'm keeping one. One of them will be going into my uh, yard sale haul giveaway uh, once I hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm like trying to get some stuff together for that. And then the other one I maybe might resell. I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm doing with the third. I mean, if I really like it, maybe I'll just keep it as a backup. And then the other, the other thing I got at the sale was this Body Shop gift set. It's brand new in the box. So this was like a Christmas uh, themed gift set and inside are all of these goodies in the strawberry fragrance it smells so lovely this is like the perfect summertime fragrance so it comes with a bar of soap the body butter the uh, body polish the shower gel as well as a little loofah so she charged me two dollars for this which is an amazing amazing deal I was surprised she only charged two dollars considering like all of her makeup was on the uh, pricier side I figured she'd maybe charge at least like five or something for that but two bucks I found a couple purses I did find a coach purse I paid ten dollars for this one and it just looks like this it's very like goes with everything kind of thing um just like the signature print and in a really nice brown uh leather so i might just keep this one just because it's my style and it's the right kind of size it's not huge and it's not real small either and this literally looks brand new like it doesn't look like they ever used it at all um even like the handle and all of that still feels a little bit stiff like it just hasn't been used 
So $10, I thought that was a great, great deal. I found this Clark's purse and it just looks like this. So it has two carrying handles and then it has a really long strap as well. So you can wear it crossbody or you can just carry it by the handles. But it's a nice, nice, why can when I say nice, I say nice all the time. I don't know. Something that I do. What? So the outside of this looks like it's in really, it looks like it's in really nice condition. We have like the little Clark's leather tag there. Um, the back has a zipper compartment. Um, the inside is a little um, dirty, but it might be able to be cleaned up. Like I see pen marks and there's just like a little bit of junk <laughs> in here. Um, that's the thing, like buying purses sometimes, like the weird shit you find in the purses. Um, I mean, this isn't too weird. It's a pretty dusty, crusty <laughs> hair tie, but this is what I'm talking about with weird. There's a pill in here. Um, I don't know what kind of pill it is. It has an E on it. Maybe it's like Excedrin. I don't take Excedrin, so I don't really know what the pills look like. I'm an Advil kind of girl. Um, so yeah, it's definitely weird sometimes the stuff you find in purses. Oh, there's one more thing like a really nasty dried up cough drop that looks like it's from like 1962. Um, but yeah, so no money, unfortunately, I didn't find any money, <laughs> any money in this bag, but for $2, I thought it was really cute. I plan on cleaning it up and I may list this one. I may keep it. I'm not sure. It is really cute and definitely like my kind of style. Then I also found this Betsy Johnson wristlet and it's shaped like a little dog and it says namaste at home with my dog. How cute is that? So this is just adorable. The inside is just black and white striped. I didn't even realize this was Betsy Johnson at first. I thought it was just like a little kid's purse. And then I noticed it says said love Betsy up here on the earpiece. So I thought that was so adorable. 25 cents. Um, I'm definitely going to be selling that. I found one pair of Clark's shoes. These are just brown um slip-ons they have this like really cute like button looking detail there and these were only one dollar they're in really good condition so i will be selling those they are a size da -da 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 -da. eight and a half they are i got these shoes they are my size but i think i'm selling them just because they're not really my style i don't really foresee me wearing them anywhere or using them for any purposes but these are Sperry's and they're like I think they call these duck boots um just kind of like they're like a rain boot rain galoshes type thing so when you're like outside your feet don't get wet and everything like that and then this whole part here is leather these are six and a half they are my size but like I said I'm pretty sure I am selling these and they were only five dollars so i thought that was a really good deal um i'm sure these cost way more than five dollars and they are in really nice condition so pick those up i did find this kate spade little mini bifold wallet it's just black with white polka dots this was five dollars and it has a little zipper part back there and then the inside just looks like this uh one yard sale i stopped at the girl that lived there was definitely into her brand she had a lot of michael kors a lot of coach and fossil her prices were expensive but um still great prices i probably would have purchased more but um, like I said, I'm going to this sale later and I didn't want to spend like all of my money because I have yard sales to go to tomorrow. So, but I bought that for $5. That This was probably the, the cheapest thing that she had, which was kind of surprising. Like I would expect to see like at least maybe $10 on this since it's Kate Spade. Um, but yeah, she also had a pair of Lucky Boots that I was going to buy that were my size for $15. 
but I didn't because they were $15, but they were really cute and I tried them on and I probably should have gotten them, but I didn't. My boyfriend something, I got him this blue Nike short sleeve shirt just to wear to, well, wherever he wants to wear it, whether to the gym or not. Um, it was only 50 cents, so 50 cents or was that a quarter? That yeah, was 50 cents. So I got that for him. I got two pairs of jeans. These aren't anything special. I just got these to wear to work um, for the most part because I'm tired of ruining all of my clothes. So hopefully these fit okay. These are just Jennifer Lopez um, skinny jeans. So depending on how these look and everything, I might actually just save them um, as non-work pants if they're like really cute and I don't want to get them ruined. And then these ones are by Apartment 9 and they are boot cuts, but I really liked the pockets on them. The back pockets are really cute, very blingy. I found this vintage Victoria's Secret nightgown. This thing is super vintage. It's adorable though. Um, it just has these little satiny uh, straps and it's got a beautiful floral print on it and it's real long like it's a real long nightgown I'd say it probably goes to like maybe a little above the ankles but you can tell this is vintage Victoria's Secret just by the tag alone you see that they definitely don't make that tag anymore so I don't know I might actually keep this one um, I don't really know if it has much of a resale value but it is my size and I thought it would be cute um, just to have so that was a dollar Actually, I think she only charged me 50 cents for that. Okay, and this next find was like an oh my gosh kind of kind of score for me. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watch Miss Stone Home, but if you don't, I'm going to leave her link down in my description so you can check her out. She also does yard sale hauls. And she's so crafty and you will just love her. She is so incredibly sweet. I actually met her once and it was just so much fun and I cannot wait to see her again. But she had hauled something recently that it was a Germany Christmas thing. I forget what they're called now. Um, but I knew that they were really expensive because in my town we have... Um, a little Christmas German store and I went in there one time and about pooped my pants because all of the stuff was incredibly expensive but it was all handmade in Germany so she had found this thing and I was like wow you know what I mean like I never see that kind of stuff out out and about but I all like I love the look of them um, but I found, I found something amazing today. I found these guys and I'm not quite sure exactly what these are called. I wouldn't necessarily say they're nutcrackers, uh, but they do kind of move a little bit. I'm going to have to look them up, uh, but this one is Santa Claus. He has this like pipe in his mouth and he's holding, he's holding some branches and he's got these, um, dangly bits so these are all handmade wood really nicely made absolutely adorable i just fell in love with this i love weird stuff um all of my christmas decorations are a little on the like eccentric side i guess you would say and i think that he will fit in very very nicely with all of my Christmas decorations and like there's even like I don't know it feels like styrofoam or something maybe in his um little sack there so so super cute and you can see here on the bottom that it was made in West Germany so I don't know this might even be a vintage piece I'm not sure I have to look him up but I was so excited to find him and when I looked at the price tag, $3, $3, like I can guarantee you this thing probably originally cost close to a hundred bucks, more than likely, more than likely. Um, just the stuff is, trust me, it's very expensive. So there was also another one. 
Um, this one here though is, I'm not quite sure if he's just like, would he, I wouldn't necessarily say he'd be a caroler, but I'm not quite sure what, what, what he is exactly. Like he's got this little bag here and it feels like real leather and these little pieces of paper. And he also has what I'm assuming is a pipe, an umbrella, and just, it's so incredibly detailed and absolutely adorable. I absolutely love it. And he kind of moves too. So like I said, I have to look these up and kind of like figure out exactly what they're called, what they are. But he was only $3 as well. And I purchased these at a yard sale that's in like the heart of like the antique capital of the world, basically. So I just assumed that when I stopped at this yard sale, the prices were probably going to be expensive, especially like I just assume people have antiques if they're living amongst antiques and stuff like that. So for $3, I just couldn't believe it. And literally, this yard sale was pretty much right across the street from that Germany store, the Christmas Germany store that I was talking about. So yeah, insane. And this one is marked West Germany as well. And it says Steinbach. Or no, this just says Made in Germany. Um, but it does have a little sticker there and this does look vintage in my opinion. So I can't wait to look these up and see, you know, what they're called and maybe how much like they retailed for and everything like that. But oh my gosh, I am in love with them. They are so cute and I cannot wait to put them out at Christmas time. So that is everything for my haul for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so happy I called off work today <laughs> so I could go yard selling and find all of these awesome things. Um, so yeah, I will be having another yard sale haul hopefully tomorrow. I do plan on going out to a community. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.